Hi Taurus, welcome to your May Messages from Spirit. This is Mary, and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome, and thank you. Happy birthday, Taurus. Hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Any heavy placements, male or female, general collective reading. We're going to take as many messages that, that needs to come out. So please only take what resonates for you. I will mention the signs. So again, take those how they resonate for you. I guess if for some reason you need to switch energies, you definitely can do that. Same thing goes for cross watchers as well. Take this one, honestly. All right, messages from spirit, visualization. Oh, okay, so we got that one. So we got sacral chakra in reverse. So that's about not being passionate about something here. We have eight, and that's about taking action. You know, it's a movement card. So this could be uh, you're no longer feeling passionate about something and not wanting to put the work into something anymore. So we have honesty, 31-4 which is about foundation, truth, transparency, sincerity, communication, and we have 40, which is four again. So there's something here about your foundation that you're not feeling, some of you may not be feeling passionate um, and not wanting to put the work into something anymore regarding something uh, in your foundation. Imagination, focus, experience, manifestation, and visualization. Some of you may be actually visualizi visualizing um, you know, maybe a better life or a different style of life or taking your life in a new direction because you're just not happy. It could be a living situation. Uh, it could be your work. It could be somewhere that is part of um, stable chakra. So that's where you're passionately. So again, two fours here, which is about the foundation. So whatever is in your foundation right now, um, I know some of you, I just don't feel like you're feeling too excited or passionate about something here and there's a need here to be honest uh and transparent and truthful in the situation so let's see what else we need to know about this or if any other messages need to come out for taurus everything you need to know is down below your playlists are down there you can check those out a lot of your May readings have gone out already your money career um your new love reading just went out regular love reading monthly your uh, new moon which was in your sign obviously because from this uh, season of taurus is out as well personal protection two fours again wow i can't make that up so see there's the dowry so that is definitely something about your uh, foundation 42 which is six which can be about traveling or moving away from something into peace harmony balance and then we have daydreaming 21 which is three which can be about growth expansion um again putting the work into something so definitely you guys i feel like some of you have kind of given up a dream or hope about something regarding your foundation feeling like maybe you have to protect yourself um or maybe you're not feeling safe and secure regarding a situation either huh all right so let's get some tarot on this to see and now these messages may all coincide together or we may get several different messages as well all right i have tried comments back on taurus so um just be aware um of spammers and scammers so all right and i ask everyone please be polite <laughs> all right what else here we have emperor so that is aries energy wanting to take control needing to take control of something in your life nine of cups six of pentacles so definitely nine of cups about which dreams come true and six of pentacles is a very balanced energy let's get one more we got two Two of Swords and then Hermit here. So definitely some indecision about something here. That is for sure. Needing to make a decision. So we have the Hermit Virgo, which is about deep introspecting. So some of you definitely are doing a lot of introspection here regarding something about changing uh, something in your foundation. So you're definitely, some of you may be contemplating this on your own and not really telling anyone, keeping it all within yourself. Like, I need to make a decision and um, get out of a situation that is kind of, like, no longer serving me. That's kind of what I feel here. Let's get some of these. Just a couple of these. 
for some of some of you kind of gave up hope like you've been wanting to make a change or move in a new direction but i feel like some of you with that daydreaming in reverse uh, kind of gave up hope all right what else do we need to know here for taurus the world yeah definitely closing a cycle a new cycle starting could be traveling our distance here page of swords and the two of wands which is about uh crossroads here some of you definitely on a crossroads it could be about physically moving changing your location page of swords uh definitely here exciting new challenge you have what it takes to succeed review contracts or documents very thoroughly Two of Wands, make bold and ambitious choices. Great progress is possible. Important relationships with people who share your vision in the world. Uh, definitely uh, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus. <laughs> Very happy ending. Coming full circle, spiritual growth and insight. So I feel like you may page a sword here. There's that truth, honesty, clarity. Choosing a new direction in the world is something closing and something new starting. So some of you definitely here may just decide to... Um, Start this new cycle, whatever that is for you. Something maybe you been, have been dreaming on that maybe you have lost hope on. But I feel like some of you definitely will um, make that choice to start some sort of new cycle. All right, the emperor can be, you know, can be um, just taking lead charge control of your situation. It could be a parental figure. It could be an actual boss. It could be owning your own business, being an entrepreneur as well being more in control all right let's see what else for taurus taurus i did start a new channel um it's for twin flames so i don't post as much there but if you'd like to check it out link is below i started the zodiac signs i'll be doing those once a month and then i also have some other readings i do a feminine check-in masculine check-in spiritual guidance for separation and also a 5d conversation so you can check those out and i post there monday thursday 8 p.m eastern standard time and if you're new here i post monday thursday 8 a.m eastern standard time so we have presence intelligence so learning something new the mind so we definitely have an energy here of you know maybe going back to school or learning new things or sharpening your skill set here the mind Openness, flexibility, imagination, learning, 38, which is 11, which is a life soul path number, 45, 9, which chapter closing, new chapter starting, education, knowledge, perception, flexibility, and we have 44, again, wow, a lot of fours coming out here. Uh, we have 44 there, 44 here, awareness, attention, reality, connection, presence. So this is about the present, about your present now, like daydreaming here, envisioning, something new here some of you um present moment may be thinking about uh going back to school learning something just maybe learning something new in general whether it's well, i want to learn astrology or i want to um learn how to read the tarot or something like that so you definitely could be um just learning something new all right being more in the present so if something if you're calling to do, being called to do something like learn a new skill learn just learn something you've always wanted to learn whatever that may be i say it's time to open your mind so we have here transmutation purification and concealment hmm. so we have 41, 5, which is about change, 35, 8, taking action, 5, change again. So transmutation is something changing and shifting, and we have purification, ridding yourself of something no longer serving you that is toxic to you, whatever that may be. It could be, you know, the way you're eating or drinking or just people, places, and things around you. And concealment, 5, which is about, um, you know, you could be hiding something, um, I'm not saying, well, you know, you're having an addiction, you're hiding it. No, you could be hiding, some of you could be hiding um, some sort of um, change or something you want to cleanse out of your life, but not really telling anyone. Like, you could be thinking, well, I'm getting out of this job, it's too, you know, or toxic, or, you know, I have friends and family. It's kind of going along with that a little bit as well that are too toxic, you know, maybe distant family or friends and 
it's like, okay, I'm going to start cutting these energies out of my life, doing what I need to do, and maybe just not telling anyone, kind of keeping it to yourself. Like, you know, I'm just going to keep it to myself, do what I need to do. Definitely a shifting of the energy here. That is for sure. But let's, I want to know what that concealment is. So you can have someone around you also that is very um, shifty. Like you can't, you always felt like you couldn't really trust them. So it could be someone that is hiding something or you never feel maybe, you know, personal protection right there. You never feel felt or feel totally safe around them. You know, you get kind of like a shifty energy. That could be it as well. All right. What else here for Taurus? Nine of Wands, yeah. The Lovers, so making a choice and the Four of Cups. Yeah, so feeling kind of discontent, melancholy. Lovers can be about making a choice. And it could be, be it could be about, um, doesn't have to be an actual lover. I mean, it could be just someone that you feel a close connection to. Soulmates come in all forms. Six again, and we have nine of wands. Definitely feel like you've been through the ringer here. Stay determined and move forward. Be prepared for any possibility. Environmental activism. The lover six is a healing balanced energy. Make choices from your heart. Deeply emotional commitments. The power of love. Four of cups. Seek out other possibilities. Look for the magic in life. Be aware of your own emotions. So definitely feeling born and content and making that conscious choice here. Do what's best for you, your heart, your life. Nine of Wands, kind of giving up the struggle here. Like, it's not worth the struggle anymore. That's kind of what I feel. Definitely feel like something is no longer worth the struggle for you. All right, what else do we need to know here for Taurus? For Taurus. Some of you almost may be giving up on love, too. Maybe you haven't been able to find, um, like, a special connection. So you kind of, Nine of Wands, like, you've been, not through the ringer, but it's been, like, a struggle and you're feeling discontent, like, well, I guess I'm just not going to find my lover that's meant for me. I mean, it could be that as well. Eight of Cups, walking away. The Wheel of Fortune, Fate, Destiny. Strength, so strong, courageous, and brave here. So we have uh, Wheel of Fortune, Sag, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. We have Strength, which is Leo, again. Nine, Pentacle, Single, Independent. Queen of Cups. So yeah, I kind of feel like some of you um, kind of are hoping for the fate to turn here with the Wheel of Fortune. Eight of Cups, though, is about, you know, maybe some of you need to walk in a new direction in order to kind of cleanse things out of your life that are no longer serving you. And that's when the Wheel of Fortune and Fate and Destiny start to come into play. Um, you are strong, righteous, and brave. So it's like, don't give up. Don't lose hope. Nine of Pentacles, stay, you know, in that mode of I'm single, independent, can't take care of myself, I really don't need anyone, I'm abundant, have everything I need, and a lot of love to give. So I've canceled Leo, Leo as well. What else do we have here for Taurus? For Taurus. Nope. The Moon. Fear of the Unknown. Pisces Energy. Not trusting the path, you know, illusion, star, divinely guided energy here. So we have the moon and the stars. So definitely here, I feel like don't give up hope, even though you don't see anything coming your way. You know, I have a lot of love to give. I'm single independent. I really don't need anyone, but I would love to give to get someone my cup. So remain confident, strong, independent. The wheel is still turning in your favor, even if you don't feel it, see it, or know it. Um, intuitively, we do have the third eye there. So the moon can be you know, be more in tune to touch with your intuition as well. And the star is about fate, destiny, dreams coming true, divinely guided energy, um, things meant to be. So we have Aquarius, Pisces. Let's get a few more, a few more here for, oh, okay. Chariot. So it could be about moving, traveling, or distance, things moving forward, positive movement forward, drive, ambition, balance, cancer, energy, what else? So things are going to start moving forward here, five of wands, but it's only after you make change. Then three of cups, it can be about socializing, uh, dating, you know, getting yourself out there, connecting with people. It can be celebrating, it can be a reunion, maybe it could be a reunion with someone as well. 
high priest. Oh, stay committed. You know, believe in your morals, your faith, your values. Um, that could be leveling up as well. That could be learning. Like I said, going back to school. Um, I don't have a lot to hear about work. Um, I think work probably could be going very well for you unless this could be about maybe if you know, you're not happy at your work, maybe a shift or a change could be for the better where you will be more successful. Nine of Pentacles energy and more balanced. Uh, Six of Pentacles energy, which we had right here. So there's you, Taurus. So what else do we need to know? Taurus here. And a couple more. And we'll pull some voice and guidance. High Priestess. It's my spiritual couple of the deck. Pisces energy here. So something that you don't see coming as well. Wow, we got a lot here. So look at that. The Ace of Cups, the Fool, Eight of Wands, Seven of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, and the Two of Cups. So the more you work on yourself, work to make changes that are no longer, you know, things are no longer serving you. Seven of Cups, you know, moving away from illusion, fear, whatever is, you know, clouding your mind. Fool, having a reset, open mind, uh, open energy into what is going to come here open to what the universe is going to give you and there's the brain new beginning in love if that's what you're looking for eight of pentacles two of cups is saying you will meet somebody here that will be willing to put in the work into a partnership not somebody who will kind of like run or back away you got the ace and the two of cups which is the three of cups which is actually right here wow all right so let's get you some advice and guidance for Taurus for Taurus I just feel like when you make change that you've been wanting to make and if you're looking for love that's when the new love is going to come in but it is going to, going to involve having to make the change you know you need to make some of you again maybe think about um, somebody could be with um, Concealment, hiding how they're feeling for you also. That is around you. That could be changing. All right, so what else do we have here for Taurus? Divine healing. Honor your sensitivity. Retreat to recharge and heal. Your light can support others. So take these how they resonate for you. Call to action. Take charge. Lead by example. Walk your talk. Yeah, all about taking um, lead, which first card out for your tarot was the emperor which is about taking the lead sacred self unleash your spirit express your gifts dance to the sacred rhythm of the life peace and harmony there with the dove as well so value and um cherish yourself what else here for taurus transcendence so i believe we have that uh oh we had transmutation but now we have transcendence Rise up, honor your inner force. Steps are being given. Dance with the universe. So this is about going with your intuition, higher knowing, and going with the signs, symbols, energy that you're getting with the universe as well. And believing in yourself and taking action. And there could be a lot of uh, healing here. I mean, we do have the star, which is about deep healing as well. So this could also be by doing this, you know, Ace of Cups, self-love, self-healing, spiritual awakening, feeling total you know peace harmony as well in your life so that's what i have for you taurus so i hope that helped resonated and again take what only what resonates for you and again you can find everything you need to know your links are down there for your playlist you could check out all your other may week readings there are like uh i think five other readings up so you could check those out you could check out the other twin flame channel as well if you would like to so i'm wishing you the best taurus and i shall see you next time